What's happening, Faithful? I am Lawrence. Welcome to Platform 246. Thank you so much for coming in. Please hit that like button. We are on the push to 400 subscribers by Halloween. That is because of one of my sons. So subscribe to the channel if you're new and so that you don't miss any 49ers uh, content. Jimmy G, that like button. Don't miss it, right? Uh, this video itself is a request. We can do anything here on this channel, to be honest with you. So this video is kind of a bit of a request. Uh, and just like our quarterback, Trey Lance can do anything, including come back from an injury, a very, very gruesome injury, one I'm extremely upset about. Uh, do I blame Kyle Shanahan? Absolutely. Uh, do I blame Trey, who did hold the ball on a uh, play to Debo? an actual read option, a little bit. But do I primary blame Kyle Shanahan because he doesn't trust any quarterback, let alone the one that's behind center this Sunday? 100%. The boy has 13 runs. As soon as James came into the game, all of a sudden we start passing the ball all over the place, throwing the ball all over the yard. What kind of shit is that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's Kyle's lack of confidence in Trey Lance, just like a lot of you faithful morons out there. But what's going to happen is this injury is going to do nothing but push that young man, and you can see it in his eyes, and even the players that don't want him to be starting. George, I'm talking to you. Can see it too. Next season, he's going to come back stronger than ever, physically and mentally. And he's going to get on that field and he's going to bust ass. He's going to bust ass of his teammates who don't want him. And he's going to bust ass of the fans that don't want him. And most importantly, the rest of the NFL. I can't wait to see it. Now, he has a long, long road ahead of him. Kyle Shanahan has, again, already put him on the injured list. Said that even though reports came out just yesterday that Trey Lance was only going to be out for 10 to 12 weeks max and can make a full recovery by week 16 of the NFL regular season, possibly. Kyle said, nope, if we and when we make the playoffs, don't expect to see five for your life. Okay, that's cool. 10 is going to take us, but is he going to take us to a win? What do you think, Faithful? What have you seen in the past? Now, when we had Trey Lance at the helm, the best we could say, or the worst we could say, is that we didn't know what was going to happen. But when old 10 gets in the playoffs again, it's eight passes and a whole lot of running that Kyle Shanahan is going to be calling for him. So mark this down. Trey Lance will be back. Trey, I want you to know the faithful are behind you. The real 49er faithful, not players and, and, and coaches, uh, fans. I don't know where the fuck those people came from. You're supposed to be rooting for the name on the front of the jersey, not the name on the back of the jersey. But apparently, a lot of our fans don't know that. Trey, we do, though. The faithful, we got you. We riding with you. We here. Niner ganger, don't bang. Come back, come strong, and show the world what you can do. Folks, what do you think? Uh, is Kyle Shanahan an idiot? Or, you know, should maybe Trey Lance have just given the ball to Debo? Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the video. Share it on your social media so people get a chance to decide what they want to do, too. Y'all be safe. Thank you so much for watching. Not a ganger, don't bang.